Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you an interesting code example with Filament, but not from myself, not my own code, but open source project by Andrew Waller from Atlanta, Georgia, who created this SaaS with Filament that looks like this. And specifically this page caught my attention of how to show something like this with this form and invoice preview. This repository is open source and I will link that in the description below, but let's take a look at that specific page. And this invoice setting page is not a filament resource, it's a filament custom page, which is actually live wire component with the form. It is an app filament company pages setting invoice PHP. And if we scroll up, we see something like this. Some of the settings are from filament, like navigation, like slug, some other stuff, but the important part is probably this one. So there is a view, a blade view, that contains that page, the page blade with the form. So the form is defined in this class, in the mount, and then fill form, and then a bit later, there's general save, and the form schema is defined in here. So there's a form method, and the form contains a few sections, so general content and template, and then each section contains the familiar stuff with filament text input, select, and others. In this video, I will not dive deep and explain every line. I want to show you the principle of how to create such a page with a preview of invoice. So in one of the sections of that form, in the get template section, there's quite an impressive work done with grouping everything to make it visually appealing. And then at the very end of the form, you may find another group with this. So there's a view field, which basically means inside of the form you have blade view. And this is a blade view file. So in the invoice blade file, you have just the form, you need to extend filament panels component like page, form, and form actions. But this is what gets rendered after all that component from filament. This one is parsed. And as a part of that, you have view field with components. We can scroll down to resources, views, components, invoice layouts. And in fact, there are three layouts. And if we take a look at that default blade, it looks like this. Some PHP code on top, which is a bit ugly in my opinion, but I guess there's no other more elegant way to achieve that, to have those variables. And then inside of the blade, you have a typical thing with variables, company address, logo, and stuff like that. So nothing really fancy here. And this is how it looks if you install the project. I've installed it locally. It's actually really easy to install and the repository even contains the seeds so I didn't have to create anything manually. And if you want to edit that invoice, here's how it looks. So a few field groups for like main stuff and then the template where you can customize things on the left and this would be automatically refreshed. So for example, if you change the template, the modern template would be refreshed automatically. So this is, I think, a great example of combination of power of a few tools on top of each other. So Laravel on the back end, then for that dynamic behavior, it's a live wire component with live wire forms and variables. And then everything is wrapped in a filament functionality of admin panel, layout, user management, and stuff like that. Great, great example. And I will link that GitHub repository in the description below so you can take a look at the full code. And I'll probably pick a few more tricks from that repository because I think there's quite a lot of things for us all to learn about filament and live wire and custom pages. So expect a few more videos about that open source SaaS in the future. To get all of those, of course, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.